hey hello friends welcome again to another session on gems of geometry and uh, we have again taken up new theorem and uh, we are going to discuss this theorem and then also see how to prove this theorem so the theorem says let o and i be the circum center and in center respectively of a circle with circum radius r and in radius small r if d be the distance oi that means the distance between the circum center and the in center is small d then we have to prove that d square is equal to r square minus 2 times small r times capital r okay so before that we need some prerequisites to prove this theorem and uh, one is uh, what we have already discussed in previous session we'll do it here once again so first one is this so i am joining io and producing it on the both sides say this point is let's say p and let's say this side is q okay so we had learned in the previous sessions that what did we learn we learned that let's say al al and pq pq are two intersecting chords are two intersecting chords right intersecting chords and where are they intersect where are they intersecting they are intersecting at point i so i is the point of intersection isn't it i is the point of intersection so point of let me write it also point of intersection correct i is the point of intersection so hence we know that a i into i l i l will be equal to q i into i p is it a i into i l is equal to q i into i p uh, for this theorem you have to just check the previous uh, sessions there we have discussed this at length okay so when it is true then if you see q i um, clearly o p here is capital r if i have to just mention this is capital r and uh, this is d so you can figure out qi will be equal to so let me write this as this is qi so qi will be clearly capital r minus small d and ip will be capital r plus small d right from geometry qi if you see this qi here let me do it yeah so qi if you see this is qi guys so qi is clearly this capital r this is whole is r r minus this d is r minus d right so let me just delete this as well so that there's no confusion and this part is clearly r plus d without any doubt correct so hence i can then write this as r square minus d square so if you see uh we are getting closer to r square minus d square from here if you see right so this you keep in mind first of all so this has to be you know kept in mind so ai into il is equal to r square minus d square fair enough now what so let us do some exercise here as well so hence if you see if this angle is alpha okay if this angle is alpha then clearly this angle is alpha right why is this because angle lying in the same segment so hence i can say angle b a l b b a l is equal to angle b m l is it b m l why angle lying angle subtended 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 by same arc right on the same segment are equal right now if you see ia happens to be the internal bisector of bac because i is the in center so ia is the internal bisector so this angle is also alpha is it right and if that angle is alpha by the same logic this by the same logic we will have this angle is alpha right which logic angle subtended by same arc on the same segment i hope the diagram is clear similarly ib is the angle bisector so if this is beta this is beta correct let me draw yeah 
so this is beta so this is 2 right so and this is clear to everyone so this is so the angles and the you know the uh, which angle is which which all angles are equal is very very evident over here now by external angle theorem what do we learn this angle guys this angle is alpha plus beta isn't it if you see why because this angle will be equal to the external sum of the external interior external and opposite so hence alpha and beta so hence this angle is you know so let me write it as well so that it becomes a yeah structured proof so hence i am writing angle b a i so i'm writing angle b a i is equal to angle angle i a c both are equal to alpha okay and similarly angle uh, y and the reason is i a is angle y sector i a is angle y sector so hence the two angles have to be equal similarly angle a b i a b i is equal to angle c b i and both are equal to beta because i b is angle by sector okay so this is clear so hence now if you see uh angle uh what l b i l b l b i is equal to angle l a l a angle l a sorry i have to write angle angle l a c why the reason is this correct so l b i l b i i i'm sorry this is not l b i l b c my bad so this is l b c so angle l b c l b c is equal to l a c l a c and both are equal to alpha okay therefore now you can say angle um b i l b i l is equal to angle or rather i can directly write alpha plus beta y exterior angle theorem exterior angle theorem in a in a triangle the exterior angle is equal to sum of the interior opposite angle right alpha beta also also if you see angle l b l b i is also alpha plus beta okay that means therefore triangle l b i is isosceles triangle isosceles triangle therefore therefore b l is equal to i l correct b l is equal to i l this is what we learned now if you see guys l m is the dia because it is passing through o so clearly angle l b m so angle angle l b m is 90 degrees 90 degrees once again see the diagram l b m is 90 degrees or let me do it here yeah so hence clearly angle l b m is equal to 90 degrees why l m is dia is the diameter so hence angle subtended by diameter on the circle is 90 always clearly clear also i have drawn i y is perpendicular to let's say ac right this is construction construction so now what do we get we have in triangle in triangle lbm angle lbm is 90 degrees is it it lbm is 90 degree therefore therefore lb lb by lm lb by lm is sin alpha isn't it so hence lb is equal to lm sin alpha right and what is lm guys is the diameter of the circle so it is 2r right r is the circum radius so 2r sin alpha isn't it op is equal to o, ol is equal to om 
right? Two are sine alpha. L B is this. Now, if you see, L B was equal to L I, so therefore L I, L B, this side is equal to this side, right? So hence, now you can say L B is equal to L I is equal to two R sine alpha. Okay, friends. Now consider in triangle I Y A. I Y A. Angle Y is ninety degrees. Right, so hence again I can say uh, sine alpha in this case is equal to small r i y divided by i a. Okay, so this implies i a is equal to r upon sine alpha. Right, now so we have to find out l i into i a. So l i was Two R sine alpha into I A is R by sine alpha. From here and from here. Okay, so what do we get? We get L I into I A is equal to two R into small R. And what was L I into I A? If you see, L I into I A here is it? It is L I into I A. Right was r square minus d square. So hence, combining the two, I can say this implies r square minus d square is equal to two times r times r. Right. Once again, this was li into ia is this r square minus d square here. So hence now, right. So rearranging, you can say d square is equal to r square minus twice r times R hence proved. I hope you understood the theorem. Okay, so hence any point inside, or uh, rather, you know, the distance I O is d square. The distance between the circum radius, circum center, and in center is nothing but uh, circum radius square minus twice circum radius times in radius. This is what the theorem was all about.